Hurricane Irma is continuing to make its way towards Florida from the UF Weather Center. I'm Grayson Jarvis. Irma moved through the Leeward Islands earlier this afternoon and is currently sitting a little bit north of Puerto Rico. Now the eye did not go through the island, so it was saved from the brunt of the storm. However, it is still dealing with a severe threat from it. We'll tell you more about how it affects Florida here in a few minutes. Three big things you need to know going into the rest of your week is a cold front moved through the region and is going to bring cooler temperatures tonight. Followed by on Thursday, we can expect drier air as a result of this cold front. And of course, we are tracking Hurricane Irma. So make sure to buy supplies, stay tuned, follow UF weather and Florida storms for the latest on Hurricane Irma. Let's talk about the temperatures that you can expect going into the rest of tonight. The lows, 69 degrees in Gainesville, 70 in Bronson, 72 in Ocala. Starting to feel a little bit more like fall throughout the state. And we do have some ch chance of an evening thunderstorm, especially in the early morning hours throughout the region going into tonight. It's mainly around 2 a.m. or so, so it's not going to really affect anyone, anything at all, really. Uh, around Gainesville, Bronson, Cedar Key, these small little cells are going to be dissipating fairly quickly. Not really much of a threat to anything. And throughout the rest of Thursday, no real storms are predicted throughout as a result of this drier air making its way into the region. Now, of course, we are tracking Hurricane Irma as it makes its way towards Florida. Right now, again, it is sitting a little bit north of Puerto Rico. And as it makes its way towards Florida, around Miami. It's going to be a category four by the time it gets up there. So make sure if you have relatives in the area, have them know their evacuation zones, know their routes, know when to get out and have supplies ready there. We don't need to see anyone dying if everyone just follows what admin officials, excuse me, say and by the time it reaches north central Florida, it'll be around a category three. So it's still a significant system. Again, keep in mind, watch for emergency broadcasts. Listen to officials when they tell you to evacuate if they do so. Six day forecast going into the next couple of days. Of course, tomorrow this dry air is going to bring with it lower chances of showers throughout the afternoon, and that's going to kind of carry over into Friday with only a 30% chance. And as Saturday moves around, the very first rain bands from Irma will begin making their way into the region. Come Sunday is when the brunt of Irma that will hit this area will, will hit. So keep in mind again, watch for falling rate. Make sure that you are staying aware and keeping updated with Florida storms and UF weather. By Monday, for the most part, it will have moved out. And by Tuesday, Irma will have moved out completely from the region.